Hi, I'm Axel, and today we're going to learn how to make your footage look like it is displayed on an electronic screen. This is useful in a variety of situations, including closed circuit television, security cameras, or computer screen replacement. We'll use techniques that work both in HipFilm Express and HipFilm Pro, so whatever version of the software you're using, these techniques are applicable. You can download the project and related video files in the description down below, and let's all get started. In general, the determining factor in the look you choose for a screen will be how technologically advanced the system is meant to be, or in other words, how expensive it is. If you're looking at a traffic cam, or maybe convenience store or motel security cams, then they're going to be low end, probably black and white with poor resolution, low frame rates, and heavy scan lines. But if you are an airport, a top secret government agency, a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, or maybe an amusement park with live dinosaurs, then you can probably afford color images, a higher resolution, and more detailed text or graphic overlays. So we will look at several techniques focusing on three areas, resolution, scan lines, and color. You can then use combinations of these techniques to create a variety of results. One thing that is always true when you are depicting a screen, whether it is CCTV, a television within your frame, a computer display, whatever. One thing that always holds true is that the image quality is inferior to the surrounding project. The main video is meant to seem like reality, and the screen needs to feel inferior to that. Let's create a new grade layer, call it Resolution, and look at a few options for reducing detail. If you are in HitFilm 4 Pro, add a bilateral blur effect to the grade layer. If you're using HitFilm 4 Express, this effect can be purchased in the Repair add-on pack. The bilateral blur effect allows you to blur out details in the layer while still retaining defined edges. Let's reduce its effect a bit by bringing the radius down to 2, and this gives us the sort of creamy look that we expect from video screens with very little effort. But if you're using HitFilm Express and haven't yet purchased the Repair pack, then you will need another option. So here's a free way to get a similar result. I'll disable the bilateral blur and then add a blur effect and set the radius to 2. Then add a sharpen effect and let's try retrieve some of that detail. Set the strength to 100% and the feature size to 3. Balance out the blur radius and the feature size of the sharpening to adjust the effect to what looks best for your footage. Another option that you could use in the free version is the mosaic effect, where you can define the exact number of blocks used to make up your image, both horizontally and vertically. Mosaic gives a blocky digital appearance if you need that rather than the creamy video look. Digital grain is another option for degrading your picture quality to simulate video, and is easily achieved using the grain effect. The main thing to remember with grain is not to overdo it. Once the grain becomes obvious, there is probably too much of it. Usually, you'll want to enable the monochrome option, then reduce the amount to around 10, and set the size between 0.3 and 0.5, somewhere in there. CCTV systems are frequently storing the images they record, and they will often use a frame rate of 1 or 2 frames per second to fit as much time as possible into the available storage. We can replicate this using the stutter effect, which is included in both HitFilm 4 Express and HitFilm 4 Pro. Set freeze frames to your frame rate, in this case 25, or whatever you want the duration of your frames to be. We could do 12 or 15 frames for a slightly faster frame rate, which sometimes plays better in the context of a film. For more advanced video systems, this option can be skipped entirely, as they are likely to show real-time, full frame rate video. So, we have looked at a variety of ways to degrade your footage. These can be combined or used individually depending on what you need for your scene and what you like. And there are other options we didn't look at, such as film grain, halftone color, and TV damage. If you're looking to create a malfunctioning screen, TV damage is awesome for that. Up next, we will look at scan lines. So let's create a new grade layer called scan lines where we will place these effects. If you have HitFilm 4 Pro, 
or if you have purchased the starter pack for HitFilm 4 Express, then add the scan lines effect. This creates the scan lines instantly and gives a huge amount of control over their appearance. Frequency controls how many lines we have. We can adjust sharpness to make them a bit more subtle. And the brightness, offset, and gamma controls let you alter the exposure of the image as well. But I'll leave those where they are for now. If you only have the free version of Express with no add-ons, then you can use the grid effect for this. Add the grid effect and change its color to a dark gray. There are two points that define opposite corners of each rectangle in the grid. Let's drag them completely out of frame so we are left with only horizontal lines. Then you can drag either point up and down to control how close together the lines are. Increase the feather Y to around 50 and set the border radius to 15. Change the blend mode to color dodge so the lines blend into the footage more and then fine tune the point position to get the exact spacing you want. You can adjust the size and intensity of the lines by modifying the feather, the color, and the border radius. The blend mode can be changed too to give different results, so experiment with that a bit. The third feature we'll look at is color, so let's make a new grade layer called color. Low end systems are likely to be black and white, or perhaps monochrome with a slight blue tint. For black and white, let's just grab the black and white preset and drag that onto our grade layer. This preset desaturates the footage and then boosts the contrast. It's pretty straightforward. If we want to give it a bit of a blue tint, the hue colorize effect can be dropped over the top. Increase the saturation to around 25, then shift the hue into blue, around 210. If we want to keep the color in our footage for a higher quality look, then our main approach is going to be to desaturate the footage a little bit and increase the contrast. So we could disable the hue colorize, then use these same effects. By adjusting the saturation to around minus 25, we get a decent look. We could also use curves to adjust the contrast by using two control points to create an S-curve. On the lower left, drag a point just a bit below the diagonal line. Don't go too low or the footage will be too dark. Then in the upper right, drag a point well above the line to brighten the lighter areas and increase contrast. Another feature common to electronic displays is the blacks being less intense than the scene around the display. We can easily gray out the black point with curves as well by grabbing the bottom handle and dragging it straight up the left side. Adjust the secondary control point to smooth the S-curve back out. Curves also make it quick to shift the color image a bit toward blue, should you wish to do so. Just switch to the blue curve and drag the middle of the line up to the left. So, we have looked at a variety of methods to handle degrading your footage, creating scan lines, and adjusting the color to make it look like an electronic screen. Try combining different versions from each of our three grade layers to get a feel for the variety of looks that these basic adjustments can give. Then, you can find just the right combination for your project. The last component that frequently gets used on screens is text and graphic overlays. CCTV is likely to have a camera name, a date, and time code. HitFilm includes a time code effect in both the free and pro versions that can be dropped in to create an automatic counter in either frames or milliseconds. In this example, I have applied the time code to a grade layer and adjusted its center to align it with the box in my overlay. I also have two text layers to generate the camera name and date. When adding text for this sort of overlay, it is generally best to use plain sans serif fonts. Also, note that when using text or graphic overlays, having our effects on a grade layer is quite convenient, as we can just drop the overlays under the grade layers and they will receive the same adjustments as our footage. If you are looking through a video camera, you may see a record icon and a battery indicator as well. More advanced systems will often have additional data, even if it's not obvious what it all means. Overlays can be created in HitFilm or in a graphics program, where you can design just the look you want and then drop it over your scene in HitFilm. These examples, which are included in the project files, are all built using variations of the techniques we just discussed.
so you can look at the specific settings used in each one to see how the different looks were created. And the overlays are yours, so you can use them however you want in your HitFilm projects. Of course, sometimes you will want to customize the data, in which case you should build your own overlay. So, these options get your footage looking like it's displayed electronically, but what if you want to actually put it onto a screen? Suppose you want to do a screen replacement for a computer display that your characters are looking at within the scene. Well, I'm glad you asked, because we are going to discuss that in a future tutorial. So please subscribe if you haven't yet, and you'll be notified when that tutorial is posted. Until then, thank you very much for watching.